the preschool course book. He's on lesson. And I also want to say that taking a nap, if your body needs it, that is being productive. Hi. Here, put in the mushroom and the tomato. So welcome to another vlog. Today is going to be more of like a homeschool day in the life. I'm not going to share everything, but bits and pieces of our day. Um, I think it would be impossible to share everything in one vlog of what I do all day. But I hope this vlog encourages you. It's actually October 4th. I can't believe it's already October. That means it's almost 2023. But I hope you are having a good day. Even if it's not a good day, whatever is going on will pass. That's what I tell myself when it gets a little rough. Let's get right into this vlog. Right now we're doing homeschool. So I'll show you what we got going on. Okay, we just read a chapter of our read aloud. And then we're going to read about four pages from this book. Do some of our family devotion. Um, I actually made a video on this book if you want to check that out. The last part of our reading is a quick poem out of this book. But the end of all things is at hand. Therefore be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things have fe fervent love for one another. For love will cover a multitude of sins. to help them find water. Many trees and bushes grow near dried up streams where water may be stored below the ground. This is a cactus. This is a sandy bed stream. Right now Eli is doing some handwriting. This is a handwriting without tears book. One thing I like to do for homeschool is get a bowl of carrots, but we already ate most most of them. It kind of keeps them um, a little entertained to snack on carrots while we do school. Just to show you what we're working on, we are on day two right here. I'm still finishing up this book shark curriculum. Yeah, so we are on week 34 and there is 36 weeks in all. Okay, Jameson, you ready? Okay, Jameson and I are gonna be doing the preschool course book. He's on lesson. He's on lesson 13, and then we're gonna start by them out. by f playing this game. What's that letter? Um, C. What? Oh, good job. What does the C say? The C says K. 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 Okay. I'm gonna take this one. Okay. What's that letter? Wait a second. Okay, what's this letter? You gotta tell me the letter and the sound it makes. W B. Four. B. B. What's the next picture of? A door. What does door start with? Do, 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 do. Wait. That's B. That's B. Good job. What is that picture of? Book. Book. Okay, what does book start with? B. 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 Now it's a desk. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we just finished up our school time and right now I'm making lunch. So I made the kids sandwiches and I'm having a turkey yeah. cheese quesadilla just to yeah. finish up our last tortilla. For us, sandwiches are a go-to meal and I want to know in the comments what is your favorite go-to lunch meal? Let me help you if I first start with this. Here's my lunch. I still have to cut it, but I'm just having a half quesadilla right now. As you can tell, I'm sitting on the floor because this is like a nice, clean background for me to do this little bit of the vlog right now. Right now, it is nap time. But I really wanted to say that I know on these vlogs, I show myself being productive and doing homemaking stuff and the cooking and homeschooling and all of the stuff that comes along with just my season of life. But I just wanted to say that some days, I am not productive and some days I am more restful where I will take like a 30 minute nap during this time. Um, like yesterday, I took a 30 minute nap because I needed one. So I just wanted to make that a point because uh, I know on YouTube and social media that sometimes people can show all the things they're doing, but I think most of us out there, we don't, aren't always productive every single day. And I also want to say that taking a nap, if your body needs it, that is being productive. So listen to your body and what you need, especially when you're caring for small children or you're growing a child. Um, having rest is so important. I actually need to go clean the bathroom real quick before my daughter wakes up, so I'm gonna go do that. Okay, usually I like to dock the camera because 
it's just too heavy but i'm gonna hold it right now for this clip um i wanted you guys to see what i have going on here actually i'm gonna rest it right here because it's too heavy for me to hold so this is my situation of postpartum hair growth it's weird i'm postpartum by 15 months and i have all these baby hairs growing back but i'm about to have postpartum hair loss again and if you're wondering i am 15 weeks pregnant so yeah i have that going on right now and I put my hair up so I could clean the bathroom and I just finished that. And I'm still dealing with some breakouts right now. So that's why I feel kind of weird being super close to the camera right now. And my daughter's still napping. My sons are playing Legos. So right now I'm going to take a minute to make my bed. I actually washed my sheets today and the first time in a while. I try to aim to wash them once a month. Um, so yeah. Sorry. Well, sorry guys. <laughs> okay, the bed is all done. The comforter takes a while to dry, so it's actually still kind of drying on the bed right now. So I'm hoping it dries in time when we actually go to bed later. <laughs> Amelia woke up from her nap a while ago, and then I felt motivated. Oh, I'm spilling. And then I felt motivated to vacuum downstairs. During homeschool lately, I have been giving Amelia crackers, and there was crackers crumbs all over like our homeschool area. So I started vacuuming for about 30 minutes and then we came upstairs and I probably laid on the couch for 30 minutes. So back to what I was saying earlier, sometimes you just gotta lay down. So don't feel guilty if you need to lay down. In my opinion, us stay at home moms do a lot. I feel like I'm always on my feet. I'm always serving, cooking, cleaning, teaching. Oh. Amelia's right here on the floor and she's playing with my phone and she's sticking in, it in her shirt and she just got it stuck in her shirt. <laughs> I made some of this magnesium mix drink. So I'm gonna drink that right now. While I make dinner, right now it's 4.52 and I was gonna make ground beef stroganoff but it doesn't sound good to me right now. So I'm, instead I'm going to make a sausage pasta which has a different flavor because I use this mild Italian sausage. What I do is I take them out of their casings and put them into like little tiny sausage bowls. So, and then I'm gonna add some tomatoes to it, some seasonings, like Italian seasoning. And usually with this recipe, I add in zucchini, but I'm gonna add in mushroom with it because we have a bunch of mushroom that I need to use. And then I'm also gonna make a side of broccoli with this. So that's what's going on right now. We're gonna start cooking. But before I cook, what I'm looking like, it's me at 15 weeks right now. Probably gonna put on the lid and just let the mushroom cook down. So I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning, like a tablespoon or so. 
cook. Wait, before I forget, I also cooked the sausage in avocado oil. And then once I added the mushrooms, I added like a tablespoon of butter. Okay, I have a little bit of pasta water in here and I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. Just like a little bit. And then I can add more if I need to add more.